in this lesson, we are bringing in um, to the picture the relationship between similar figures and their dimensions and their areas, perimeters, and volumes. Um, so let's remember some vocabulary. The scale factor of similar figures is just a ratio of corresponding sides. It's a fraction. So if similar figures have a scale factor of A over B, then the ratio of their perimeters would be what? Well, let's think about it. If I have a square, and then I have a bigger square, and this side length is A, and this side length is B, then the perimeter of my smaller square would be 4A, and the perimeter of my larger square would be 4B, and if I reduce that fraction, I end up with the exact same A over B. So the way I'd like you to make sense of this is that A over B is a ratio of sides. That is a linear measurement. It is measured in just units. Similarly, perimeter is also a linear measurement. It is measured in just units. So that's why their ratio is the same. But if I'm talking about the area of these two figures and I'm trying to come up with the ratio of their areas, the ratio of my small square, or the area, excuse me, of my small square would be a squared, and the area of my larger square would be b squared. And that fraction doesn't reduce, so that is, in fact, the ratio of the areas a squared over b squared. So that's kind of talking about two-dimensional figures. And if I move that into three dimensions, oh, let me backtrack, sorry. Uh, the way that I want you to make sense of that ratio a squared over b squared is to realize that area is a square unit measurement. So as such, that ratio of a over b gets squared a squared over b squared. Uh, coming back to now the solids and their surface areas, um, I would hope that you would realize that since surface area is also a square unit measurement, that scale factor would still be a squared over b squared. Or rather, I'm sorry, not the scale factor, but the ratio of their areas would be a squared over b squared. And then taking it into three dimensions and finding the volume of these solids, I would hope it now kind of just logically makes sense that since volume is measured in cubic units, we would take that scale factor of A over B and cube it so that it would be A cubed over B cubed. And so in problem two, they're giving us these two similar hexagons, let's establish a couple of things. The scale factor for these similar hexagons is 7 over 10. It's just the ratio of those side lengths. They're talking about area, though. So the ratio of area would be 7 squared over 10 squared giving you 49 over 100. But they've actually given us the area of the smaller hexagon. It's 127.3. They're asking us to use this information to find the area of the larger hexagon. So this ratio of area that I just found, 49 over 100, is going to equal the ratio of the actual areas, small over large. So since the smaller has an area of 127.3, I'm putting it across from the smaller part of the scale factor. And then just solving for x. From here, you're just cross multiplying and solving. So bring out my handy dandy calculator. 127.3 times 100 divided by 49 is 259.8. In problem two, 
We're taking that into three dimensions. This time, they're asking us to work backwards. We know the volume of these two similar solids. They're asking us for the scale factor. Well, we know that the ratio of their volumes is A cubed over B cubed. So let's set up that ratio, 1728 over 3375. That's A cubed over B cubed. And hopefully you're kind of realizing that you're going to use that button in your calculator again where you take the cube root of something. So I go into my calculator and take the cubic root of 1728. Oh, how nice that is. It's 12. So A over B will now be 12 over, oh, what's the cubic root of 3375? It's 15. And then, of course, ladies and gentlemen, anytime you can reduce a fraction, you must. This fraction reduces to 4 fifths, which is the final answer that we were looking for. We were asked. What is the scale factor? In problem three, I have the cost of carpeting a room measuring 12 feet by 10 feet. I am told that the family room is similar to that and that it's larger dimension is 18. So what you have to realize is how to figure out the scale factor. The family room's larger dimension is 18. So I hope it makes sense that in order to establish my scale factor, I'm going to put that 18 over the larger dimension of the room that they gave me, which is 12. So 18 over 12 reduces to 3 halves, and that is my scale factor. Okay, step one. And then I'm trying to carpet a room. And hopefully you realize that carpeting is going to be sold by square feet. So I need to square my scale factor. So the ratio of area will be 3 squared over 2 squared, so 9 over 4. And that ratio of area will be equivalent, therefore, to the ratio of cost. So the 150 is how much it cost to carpet a room, which I hope you realize is smaller than the family room. So. 120 that they've given us, or I'm sorry, the 150 that they've given us, we put across from the smaller room because we're trying to figure out how much it's going to cost to carpet the larger room. And once you have your proportion, then this is the easy part where you're just cross multiplying to solve. So in your calculator, you're doing 9 times 150 divided by 4. And it will cost $337.50. In problem three, it's going to start off very much like the second problem two. So in the second problem three, that I'll come back to that screen in a moment, they're asking us for area. But in problem, the second problem two here, they're asking us for the scale factor. What we need to realize is that in order to find the ratio of areas, we have to work backward from the volume to find the scale factor, and then square that to find the ratio of the areas. So it's kind of like that last lesson that we just finished doing 
um, where I gave you the volume of the sphere and you had to work backwards to find the radius so that you could work forwards to find the area. Very similar concepts. Okay, so once again, this 40 over 135 that they've given you, realize that because that's a ratio of volumes, that's A cubed over B cubed. And so I want to, once again, take the cubic root of these. But when you go to do that in your calculator, oh, it's not as pretty as it was in the last problem. But don't panic. Look back at the original fraction. Look back at the 40 over 135 that we started with. That fraction reduces. So let's reduce it. It's 8 over 135 divided by 5. It's 8 over 27. And then when I go to cubic root those numbers, oh, that's much more pleasant. That's 2 over 3. And what we've just found is our scale factor, A over B. But I need to use that scale factor in order to find an area. Area is a square unit measurement, so that's why we're going to square the scale factor. So that's why we find that the ratio of area is 2 squared over 3 squared, which is 4 ninths. And we're going to use that ratio of areas with the area that they gave me of the smaller solid, put that 48 across from the smaller part of my scale factor, and solve for x. So cross multiplying, 9 times 48 divided by 4, and the area is 108 square inches. Pause your video here to answer the, your turn below. In this problem four, we have a box of paper clips. And a larger box is formed by doubling the dimensions of the small box. So what you have to realize is that this box is three-dimensional and that these paper clips are inside of the box. And as such, what we're dealing with is a ratio of volume that we need to find. Well, they told us that the large box is formed by doubling the dimensions of the small box. So in that word, we have a scale factor. The scale factor is 1 over 2, original over new. In order to find the ratio of my volumes, remember since volume is a cubic unit measurement, you take that scale factor and cube it. So 1 cubed over 2 cubed gives me 1 over 8. My smaller box holds 220 paper clips. And I use the proportion that you see in order to find out how many paper clips should fit in the large box. So bringing out your calculator. The larger box should fit. 1760 paper clips. And pause your video here to answer the your turn below. <laughs> 